Hello, the internet. I'm Mers, and today we're going to talk about practicing. Let's suppose there's a long weekend, or a snow day, or maybe school just canceled for two weeks, or a month, or even longer randomly for some reason. What are you supposed to do with your instrument all that time? Well, today I'm going to give you some band hacks about how to practice, about how to have fun and get better while you're not at school. Let's go. Now, the first thing you should always do whenever you play is to warm up well. If you warm up well, it's going to make your practicing more fun because you're going to sound better and you're going to be ready to go. Be picky with yourself when you're warming up. Whether you're playing one long note or you're doing some scales or articulating, whatever it is, Make sure you're playing your best. I've got a great idea to help you with that. What I've done is I have actually made a little stick figure of my band director. And I'm going to pretend he's yelling at me while I'm warming up so that he can help make sure I'm playing right. What does your band director always say to you? Ah, play with a better sound. Stop being out of tune. Listen around while you're playing. Well, now I've got him to do that. Let's see how it works. Ah, play with a better sound. Stop being out of tune. Listen around while you're playing. Yeah, that sounded pretty good. I should do that all the time when I'm practicing. When I've got something that's really hard or high or loud and my lips are gonna get tired, I like to start practicing with that, especially on my piccolo trumpet because I'm not very good at it. So I'll do some high stuff first. <sighs> In addition to practicing the things you need to do for class, why not work on a new skill too? For instance, on my clarinet, I'm trying to get better at my pinky, so I made a little pinky dance. Check it out. Whew, that's hard, so I'm gonna keep working on that. What a cool new skill to learn. If you're interested in getting your brain active a little bit more, why not try switching hands? Anybody can play trombone right-handed, but why not switch it around and play it left-handed? can do the same thing with the trumpet or cornet, right-handed, or left-handed. Sweet! And it's totally not awkward to do that on the flute at all. So here's regular-handed, here's left-handed. problem. Sometimes when you're practicing, you're going to want to take a break to give your mind a rest and also to give your lips a rest. So you can do some other homework or just do some chores while you're at it. You might only be able to practice late at night when everybody's trying to sleep. So I've got a solution for you. This is called the Phil Smith Pillow Cave. Let's see how it's made. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Normal. And with the cave. Hacked. I also
also really like to practice in front of other people, like an audience. That way they help make you play your best because you don't want to mess up in front of your friends or family. So get them to listen to you. And then all of a sudden you'll play even better. Like right now, you're listening to me, you're my audience, and I'm gonna make sure I don't mess up at all. Just like that. And finally, when you've had a long day of practicing hard, you should always end with something fun that you love to play. <laughs>